Hi everyone, it's Joanne here and welcome to A Work in Progress. Now today I wanted to share with you a very simple and easy DIY of uh, a piece that I have in my kitchen. In several of my videos, some folks had commented about this piece that I have on my uh, kitchen counter. And it's a ladder that I made from wooden blocks and hot glue and popsicle sticks. So uh, I just hang my Norwex uh, towels on here, hand towels on here just to dry. And I think it came out pretty cute and apparently some other folks did too. So I thought I would show you how you can make a very similar piece just using things from the Dollar Tree and some that you may already have on hand at home. Uh, so first you will need just one package of these Tumbling Tower Game Blocks. Now I didn't use these, I used some other blocks that were larger that I had thrifted weeks ago to make mine, but it will come out the same. Do be careful when you buy this, this game with the blocks in it. I did find that some of them not only have this nice natural wood colored blocks in them, but they have a darker, almost painted look, a brown looking blocks in them. And I didn't want that for this project because I want to be able to stain these with shoe polish from the Dollar Tree as well. So one box of these. I also picked up a shoe shine kit. Now this is not the shoe polish that I used on my project. Uh, the polish that I used on my project was the bottle kind with the uh, sponge at the end of it, but it broke off. And the Dollar Tree did not have that in stock, so I ended up getting this. I'm not as crazy about the finish that this is leaving. And it does come in a black, they give you a black polish and a brown polish. And then they also give you a polishing cloth. Uh, let me see. Oh, you're also going to need some craft sticks. Uh, you might already have these on hand. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors and your trusty glue gun and perhaps some extra glue sticks. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have done a little bit, as I usually do, prep work ahead of time. And I'm going to pull you down so hopefully you can see better what it is that I'm going to do here. Well, let's pull you down. Here we are. So you can see I've already started part of the ladder here. And I'm using two blocks. This glue, the good thing about this hot glue is that it just peels right off once it has dried if you have any extra on there. So I've used two blocks as the, I guess, are they the rungs on the ladder? I'm not sure. And I've spaced them evenly here, as you can see. And then on the back side, which is kind of messy looking, but nobody's going to see it. You want to make sure that you're going to use the craft stick so that you see where it joins right here and here. You want to make sure that you have a popsicle stick long enough there that it's going to cover both of those joints, so to speak. It's going to make your piece a lot more strong. And as the same thing here on your ladder rung, make sure that your piece extends all the way. And what I had to do, you can see here, because the popsicle sticks are rounded, I actually had to cut them with my scissor and I made sure that they fit just between this piece here and right there. And then in some spots I added a little bit of extra glue just for some uh, additional stability. So we can go ahead and we'll do a few pieces here together. Let me see, gotta clean this off just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, on this piece here, let's see, try to get this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. There we are, that's, there we are, that's a little better. Maybe I can put you down, here we go. So I'm gonna put my hot glue on this end piece here. And you don't want to put on too much of it because you want these two pieces to be as tight together as you possibly can. And I think putting more hot glue on there uh, makes it more difficult to get them really like joined. Oop. That'll happen. That's why you want to protect your work surface. The hot glue got down there. And then do the same thing over here. Just a little bit of hot glue. 
put these two pieces together nice and firm. Now this is the front and don't like I said don't worry about if you have any little glue that oozes up because once that see once that dries it just it peels off super easy and you I think you do want to make sure that you get as much of the glue that oozes off of the front as possible because I'm not sure how well that the shoe polish is actually going to take to that so we want to make sure that we've got off as much of that as we possibly can there we go yep there's some more right there yep here we are Let's scratch that off oh dear I gotta do my nails ah that's what happens when you craft <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and do two more pieces here again a little bit of glue hot glue there Nice tight joint, as tight as we can get it. All right, let go. And same on this side here. Oh, I think I put a little too much on that one. A little glue happy, so it's gonna, yeah, <laughs> it oozed out for sure on that. Nice and tight. Peel that extra glue off, just rub that off there. And there's some which you can't see, but there's on the inside there. Same thing over here. Now, see, we're evenly spacing these ladder rungs here, so we need one right there. I'm going to take two pieces, glue them together. Nice and tight as I can get them. And then I'm going to put glue on both ends and we'll put it right in between. This part here you have to work a little bit when you're doing the rungs, I think anyway, you have to work a little bit fast so that that glue doesn't dry before you want it to. Okay. Push those together, make sure they're nice and tight again. I've got some ooze out here. And that easily comes off. Whoop. Oh dear, I, th I think I'm going to need a new work surface piece here shortly. Now, if you notice, uh, um, noticed on my ladder that I did, this piece on the bottom was short and the piece on the top here was taller. I'm going to keep that same thing with this ladder. Uh, because I think I think that the older ladders that were made from wood actually the the top what you might want to call the top piece here was taller so that it would fit up against like you know like the roof of a house or something and someone could walk through it more easily so I'm going to go ahead and do that with this piece so these will be the last two blocks that I'm putting on and I think you might end up, if you do this exact same pattern that I'm doing, uh, with three extra of the wooden blocks. That's what I ended up with anyway. <clears throat> Again, a little bit of glue. And then we'll flip this over and I'll show you how we are going to put the pieces on the back of it to help it make, to help make it more stable and sturdy okay there we are so now we've got a in the, where every joint that we have we want to make sure that we have a popsicle stick or a craft stick on it so that it uh, helps to keep it more secure i have already cut down my popsicle stick so that it fits right here and you see how it is there's the joint right there. So I'm gonna have a popsicle stick here and there's another joint up here. So I'll have a popsicle stick there for stability as well. I'm gonna put, make sure you have glue on the both ends of the stick because that is where it's going to hit right here on the, the longer part of the ladder, so to speak. So you wanna make sure that you definitely have glue on both ends of this stick. Oh, shaky, shaky today. There we are. Oh, no, don't pull off. Put that down 
in there and hold it nice and tight to your glue dries. And then you take another popsicle stick or a craft stick and see again how it's going to cover up. There we have a joint here and there and one right there. So our popsicle stick is going to run that length to make sure that it hits all of those joints. Hold that down nice and tight. Make sure that it dries good here. Alrighty, there we are. And then the last one we'll put right, right on this side. There we go. There we are. So that is it. Now I know I didn't do the whole ladder with you, but I think that you can see where this is going to be a pretty quick and easy project. I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple of dots of glue in some of these, what I'm calling, you know, have been calling the joint areas, just to make it a little stronger. Now, if your piece is going to be one that is going to be more of a, a used and touched piece, more on, say, a daily basis, you might want to go ahead and use E6000, something more uh, strong, something stronger than a glue gun. Uh, mine is kind of uh, decor and for drying purposes for the towel, so I'm not that worried ab about stability on it. Well, there we are. There's the back. I know the back doesn't look very pretty, but like I said, nobody's really going to see that back once you are all finished with this. So I'm going to, actually, I'm going to wait. Oh, yeah, I'm going to wait till some of that glue dries a little bit more. In the meantime, uh, I think I'm going to use the black. This, I tested the polish on one of the pieces, and you can see that this is it's actually tested on two of the pieces. I think that was the brown down here that I used. This was the black, and that's what it looked like natural. So you can see there is a little bit difference in color. I would really have preferred the bottled shoe polish with the uh, with that sponge on the end of it. But I have to use what the Dollar Tree had at the time. So I'm going to go ahead and use the black shoe polish because that's going to give me a little bit, I think anyway, a little bit more depth in the piece if you can say that. Now this could get messy and of course me being me I don't have gloves on. And I'm just going to start with the edges here. Oh there's a little, you can see that little piece of wax or not wax, uh, glue that needs to come off. Come on. can see that it is making a little bit of a difference in the finish. Not a whole lot. I would have preferred more, but like I said, sometimes you just got to go with what you got. And you could use just plain regular stain on this. It doesn't have to be shoe polish, but uh, this is pretty inexpensive from the Dollar Tree. So that is the reason that I went with it. And I actually wonder now that I'm doing this if, well, let's see. This was, see, if the more coats you put on. Oh, see, it does make a difference. So you could put more than just one coat of the shoe polish on your ladder pieces if you wanted uh, a darker finish to it. You want to make sure you're going to have to get inside here too. I'm going to get all your pieces that could possibly be seen. Like I said, I'm not doing the back because I'm not too worried about the back being seen.
but I do want to get the tops and the bottoms of all of these. Like I said, I think this is a super quick project. Turns out really cute. And I probably will go ahead once this has dried and put on a second coat of the shoe polish just to give it uh, just a deeper color. That's more of what I like. Oh, I can see right here. I think I need, can you see that little wiggly wiggly there? Yep, I'm going to have to put on some more glue in that spot. But for the most part, whoops, we're finished. That's it. Ow, splinter. <laughs> so let me see. Let me pull you up here a little bit. And kind of sit in the glare so that doesn't bother you too much. So there it is. I mean, it's it's cute, it's super simple, it's fast, and with another coat of shoe polish on this, it'll have the color that I really think that I'm looking for. So um, let me know if you plan on giving this a try, and uh, if you'd like to see more DIYs uh, like this, I'd be happy to do them. I do have to promise though, for those dollhouse lovers of you, my next DIY of anything that I do, I promise is going to be an update on the dollhouse. I have been very lazy with that dollhouse and I do apologize for that. I've got tons of stuff for the inside, but I am gonna hold tight on doing the inside and decorating until the dollhouse itself is finished. So that is it for today's DIY video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now.